my goodness! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Beast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They recognize faces. This is the smartest snake on the planet. This toothy is a little bit excited. You're gonna break. You're gonna break my fence, honey. Fuck a war! Uh oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, right down the gullet. Uh oh. Oh! Oh snap! Look at this! Look at this! Look at those teeth! Oh wow! Ooh, what is going on, my beautiful people? It is feeding day. We're gonna feed all the snakes in here, and we're gonna go feed the big crocs. I got a special treat for them today. But first, we're gonna start with the puff adder. This snake has a nasty, nasty bite. They get about six feet long, and this is the cousin to the Gaboon Viper. Look at this beautiful animal. This animal is actually really young, only about a couple years old, so a lot more grown to go. And one of the fastest strikes on the planet when it comes to venomous reptiles. Ooh, ooh, you didn't even give me a chance, check that out. What are you doing? This is my male. I actually had to separate him because he was attacking the female whenever she was trying to eat. So now they're separated in two different enclosures so they can enjoy their food. Look how beautiful that snake is. Up next is Mr. Brown, the King Brown, Pygmy King Brown from Australia. He is a little missile. Hey, Ooh. hey, come on. Ooh. What are you doing? Here, take it. Take it. What are you going to be shy now? Here you go. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to put it right here for you so we don't make any mistakes. I'm going to just get that close. He's in the back right now. We'll lock that up while we're lucky, you know? We don't want to make any mistakes with that snake. This is my yellow anaconda that I got from the Everglades alligator farm when I worked there back in the day. And this snake is a beast when it comes to food. Let's actually take out this water bowl. See if we can do something a little bit cooler. You want it? Come on. Come on. Ooh, ooh, like nothing. Here you go. All right, we're gonna let him eat. Let him enjoy that food. He's deep in shed right now, but that's not gonna stop him. He loves to eat. Don't bite me. Nice and secure, good to go. Let's move on to the Uricone rattlesnake. This animal is endemic to Venezuela, meaning it's only found in Venezuela and nowhere else on the planet. And it has an incredible feeding response too. This snake is one that has come pretty close to biting me. The South American rattlesnakes, as well as this Uricone rattlesnake. Woo! Uricone rattlesnake has literally come so close to strikes every single time. They're just so defensive and their heat seeking pits help them target like nothing. Easy bite, nice and easy. Come on. There you go, look at that. This snake is gonna be a beast. They can get roughly around five foot long. Love these snakes. Locked, good to go. Of course, we have Allison, the black mamba. She is a beast of a black mamba. She's the biggest mamba that I've ever worked with. And hopefully in the future, we're gonna go to Africa. Ooh, she's hungry, look at her. Hopefully in the future, we can go to Africa and find one of these guys in the wild or maybe even relocate one from somebody's house. All right, you behave now. She shouldn't shoot out. But when it comes to feeding, her feeding response is insane. Let's offer her a decent sized rat right here. Allison, you want this? Ooh, come on, come on, ooh, come on. Ooh, nice little tag, the initial venomation. We'll leave that rat at the bottom. She'll go to it later. There we go. Meatball, the collect snake from Australia, found in the heart of Queensland, Australia. This snake has a notorious venom that actually takes away your sense of smell and taste for potentially your whole life. Come on, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at this snake. I love this snake. Nothing like Australian alapids. They're amazing, they're beautiful, and they're the most venomous snakes on the planet. Woo. When I say alapids, what I mean are front fixed fang snakes like mom, don't bite the cage, like mambas, crates, cobras, all the front fixed fang snakes from Australia, they're all alapids. The biggest group of snakes in Australia with over like 140 or 150 species, the biggest group is actually the Elapidate family. So there are more venomous snakes in Australia than non-venomous snakes, which is insane. I got the Australian death adder right here. This is the fastest striking snake on the planet. This is a snake you don't want to make a mistake with because its venom is so powerful, it's ranked in the top eight most venomous snakes on the planet. Woo oh my goodness, that's paper towel. He's biting the paper towel right now. Come on, dude. Look, he's trying to envenomate the paper towel. This is ridiculous. Look at him. Can you see what he's doing right now? He's twitching his head as if he grabbed a prey item and he's pumping venom into a paper towel. Let's see if we can get him off of that because obviously that's not food. Dude, you're being silly. Let's uh, put the rat right next to him and he'll find it later. That's pretty funny. He's just so gung-ho for food. He can't help himself. 
He's still twitching. He's just like, mm, 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 flexing his venom glands, pumping it full of venom. King Tut is one of my first Cobras that I brought to the collection from Albert Killian. And King Tut is a beast. Oh, no chance. Egyptian Cobra, second biggest Cobra in Africa. That is a gnarly snake. Down here we have the plain black snake. This is one of my rarest snakes in the collection. And by rare, not that they're endangered in the wild, but they're not often kept in captivity, let alone here in the United States in zoological settings. So this snake is a rarity out here in America. And I'll tell you what, there's a reason not a lot of people keep these snakes, because they're dangerous as can be. Come on, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that. There you go. It looks like a black racer, but if I bet you, you die. Senior Pepe hanging out. He's actually on a little bit of a diet, so we're not gonna feed Senior Pepe. You can see he's looking chunky like a monkey. Real beautiful. Heel monsters, they're doing good. We're not gonna be feeding them today because they actually ate a bunch of eggs recently, but I'll give you guys a little update on them because they're so cute. What's, what you doing, huh? What you doing? What are you doing? My big male heel monster, look how cool he is. He, I, could, I could kiss you, but you're venomous. Look at that. Such a beautiful lizard. Love these guys. He's getting a little bit thinner now because I was putting him on a diet, but now I'm just feeding him here and there so he can look a little bit uh, less plump. He was a, he was, he was pretty round. He looked like a sausage report. There we go, nice and secure. Uh, all the constrictors, they're good to go. They don't eat every week because they eat such massive meals. The Gaboon Vipers, ooh, I love feeding these steaks. Go on. Oh, no problem. Look at that, smashing that rat like it's nothing. We got the eyelash viper right here from Costa Rica. They're just gorgeous. I love them. Can't get enough of them. Honestly, I'd love to have. Shoot, I like. I love to have a couple dozen of these snakes. But right now, I'm working on all these different projects. That'll be a later project. Get more of these guys. Look at that. That's so beautiful. I love eyelash vipers. We got the inland taipan. Beautiful snake from Australia. This guy is a beast. Stevie, look at that beautiful black head. Such an iconic snake. Inland Taipan, most venomous on the planet, drop for drop. And it's great that he's less shy nowadays. Look at that. Ooh, look how he just chews on that food. Let him have that rat pink, no problem. Put that right back in there. Look at this, look at this. He is such a good looking snake. Look, he's just like, I gotta have it. Nom, 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 nom. Such a beautiful animal. Can't wait for him to be about six, seven feet long. A lot easier to handle when they're bigger. Right now, he's just a dangerous little noodle. I gotta do a bit of a spot clean in Kevin the King Cobra's enclosure. So let's go in his enclosure. Look at Allison, she finished, she finished the rat. She's got this big lump inside her, look at that. That is a chunky black mamba. Oh my God, I love her so much. Can't wait for her to be a mama and produce some baby black mambas. I'm just gonna go around and collect his poo because I found a python not long ago, so we're just gonna grab all that poo. What I'm hoping to do is getting a bunch of isopods and putting them in here. And obviously the live plants are coming too, but I'm trying to save as much money as possible because there's a lot of things I'm still paying for. I literally just finished paying off the lawyer that defended me when I first moved here and had all that drama almost two years ago. So it's a, it's a bit tough, but if you guys would like to donate isopods, foliage, different plants, different stuff I could put in here, hit me up. My Instagram has my email on it. You can email me. And if you guys have like a nursery and you want to donate a bunch of plants to put in here, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys have isopod farms out there, you know, the little roly pulleys that clean up the poo, I'd love to take a thousand of them and just put them in here. And uh, I already have the misters. So all I have to do is set up the misters and I just need the live plants. So if anyone wants to donate plants, hit me up. We'll see how old Kevin's doing. Kevin, he knows for the most part that I'm not a threat. Relax, buddy, relax, it's okay, look at that. Isn't he a beautiful dragon? It's a privilege to be able to actually just hang out with a large king cobra like this. Look at that, ooh, look how he hoods up. He gets just a little defensive. He's like, ooh, who are you? What are you doing in my enclosure? You know, just like a monitor lizard, they recognize faces. This is the smartest snake on the planet. And I am definitely in danger anytime I get into the enclosure with a venomous reptile. But at the end of the day, if this animal knows me, and understands I'm not trying to hurt him. And that's the big thing, building that relationship with this King Cobra, where he understands I have a respect for him. I'm not trying to hurt him, but if I started to disrespect this snake and treat him improperly, he'll bite me. No doubt about it. He's almost bit me in the crotch. He's almost bit me in the nose before. But uh, that was about a year or two years ago. We're on good terms now, right, Kevin? Yeah, we're good. All right, I'll let my camera operator come out first. 
you're lucky, usually I just lock them in there. I have a python, a defrosted python, that I would usually feed to one of my king cobras, but it's too big. So I think Miss Toothy and Aries might want to eat some python. Let's get rid of this thing. Uh, Miss Toothy's a little bit excited. You're gonna break, you're gonna break my fence, honey. You gotta stop that. Let's get your attention somewhere else. I'm gonna bring her over here. Come on, over here. Crocs love to eat snake out in the wild. They eat it all the time. You want this? They're like, what is that? Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Woo! Come on, Miss Toothy. Come on. They've probably eaten one or two pythons at the Everglades Outpost because lots of python hunters go there. Holy smokes, we got a tug of war. Woo, 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 Miss Toothy. You got it, girl, you got it. You missed it. Woo! Come on. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. All right, she's got a bit of the python. Hopefully she likes it. Oh, she does like it. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Just a little bit of enrichment. A little bit of a... Ooh. She just ate a piece. She loves it. Let's give her some more. Come on, Miss Toothy. Come on, Miss Toothy. Oh, Aries is coming, actually. Aries. Hey, big boy. Woo! Good boy. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh my! They really like the taste of python. Well, that's good news because holy smokes, they get these. Whoa, 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 they get these big pythons when they go hunting in the Everglades. Python hunters do, and then they don't know what to do with these big pythons if nobody wants the skin. So now that I know my crocs love python, I think we're good to go. We've got now a drop-off point. <laughs> For big dead pythons, holy smokes, where did he go? It's real murky, and when it's murky like this, that's the most dangerous. Woo, that's got my heart pumping. That's wild, guys. Look, he's right over here. Let's see if he thrashes that python again. They love it. It's good meat for them. It's nice and lean. Look at that, he's got it, he's got it. Woo, -hoo 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 -hoo. where are you going? <laughs> it looks like he's just trying to keep it from his toothy because he wants to eat it all himself. How you doing? Look at her teeth. Look how curved her teeth are. What an intense crocodile. What are you doing, big boy? You gonna have it, huh? Are you gonna share it with Miss Toothy? Oh, you're not getting away from Miss Toothy. She's coming for you. Oh, he's trying to go on land and really get away from her. Look at this, look at this, guys. Oh my God, look at this. What's up, dude? Look at that, he's got the whole python right there. That is so cool, guys. He's enjoying that. This is great. So now we have a place to put all these big dead pythons so they don't go to waste. Because a lot of the time, these pythons get killed and they just get thrown away. Nobody does anything with them besides maybe take the skin. So now we can put good use to all that meat. Right, Miss Toothy? Oh, they're sharing it, they're sharing it. Holy smokes. They're working together to rip it apart. I think Miss Toothy's got it. Aries not happy about Miss Toothy taking it. No, I don't have anything, dude. She's got it. Uh-oh. Whoa! She's got it, buddy. She's got it. Come on. Find your girlfriend. She's got the food. Ooh. Don't be angry with me, buddy. She takes everything from you. There she is. She's got the python, Aries. Are you going to try and take it from her? I know you got a lot of respect for her. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Here we go. This is going to get a little bit chaotic in a second. Uh-oh. Oh, oh snap, look at this, look at this. Holy smokes. Look at those teeth, oh wow. Oh yeah, look at that, she broke herself off a piece. Now she's gonna enjoy it. Look at Aries over there eating his piece. That is so cool, guys, look at this, look at this. Look, he just finished it. Oh my goodness, that was insane. What's up, big boy? Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh yeah, look at that. They love to eat python. You gonna eat it? Oh, look at this. Good boy. Oh, right down the gullet. Good boy. 
like she's just smashing away. Woo hoo hoo! How do you like that, sweetheart? Oh, look at that! Aren't they amazing? That just. That's what I live for. All right, beautiful people. I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. Do what you love. I love crocodiles, and I get to work around them every day of my life, and it's a blessing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Comment below what you want to see next. Good boy! Whoa! Oh my goodness!